This is how you can make a sticky message system for your Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you're interested in getting the source code from this video or any of the other videos on my channel, you can go ahead and get a super god tier on YouTube, or you can go ahead and get a god tier subscription on Discord. We also offer a bot tier, which is the full zip file of the exact bot used in the tutorial videos. We also have four bot packages that are based off of a specific topic. All of this will be in the description below if you're interested, and with that, let's go and get into the code. So we're going to start off by going over to schemas and we're just going to go ahead and create our sticky.js. So this is going to be our schema. It's going to go ahead and include a guild string, message string, channel string, count number, and cap number. And then you can just go ahead and save it. After you do that, we're going to go over to moderation and we can go ahead and create sticky.js. And here we're going to get our slash command builder and we're also going to get our embed builder and then we can do equals require and we're going to go in and get our discord.js package. Then we can do const sticky and we can do equals require and we're going to go ahead and do schemas and we're going to get our sticky schema. Then we can do module.exports and we can go ahead and open this up. We're going to go ahead and get a bunch of things here. First, we're going to set mod to true. That is moderator only. You could also make a permission statement. We're going to go ahead and do data new slash man builder. We're going to make a sticky name. Description is not going to matter, so don't worry about that. We can add a sub command uh, with the name setup, the description of set a sticky message. Uh, we're going to add a string option with the option name message, the description of the sticky message to send that's going to be required we're going to add a channel option with the name channel a description of the channel to send the sticky in that's going to be required as well and lastly we're going to add a number option with the name cap the description of the number of messages to send the sticky after and we're going to set required to true then we're going to add another sub command which is going to be disable with the description of remove a sticky message we're going to add a string option with the name message the description of the exact message to remove and we're going to set required to true then lastly we're going to get the check sub command with the description description of check your guild's sticky messages. Then you can add a comma and we're going to do async execute and we can go ahead and get our interaction and we're going to open this up. We're going to start off by getting our options and we're going to set that equal to our interaction and we can get our sub command which is going to be options to get sub command. Then we're going to go ahead and do var data and we're going to leave that empty. Then we can write out our async send message function. We're going to pass in our message parameter. And then this, we're going to get our embed, which is going to be our new embed builder. We can go ahead and set a color, which is going to be blurple. We can go ahead and set a description, which is going to be our message. And we can do await interaction or apply. And we're going to get our embeds, which is going to be our embed. And we're also going to go ahead and set informal to true on that send message. Next, we're going to go ahead and switch to our sub command and we're going to open this up we're going to start off by getting the case which is going to be set up and within this we're going to say const channel equals options to get channel that is going to be our channel we can go ahead and do const message equals options that get string and that's going to be our message string then we can do const cap equals options that get number and that's going to be cap uh, and then we can do data equals await sticky dot find one we're going to get our guild which is going to be our interaction dot guild id our channel which is going to be our channel dot id and our message which is going to be our message dot id after we do all that, we're going to check to see if we have data, and if we do, we're just going to send a message, and we're just going to go ahead and say, it looks like you already have this exact same message set up, so if that message already exists, we're just going to go and return, then we're going to say else, and we're going to do await sticky.create. We're going to get our guilds, which can be our interaction.guild.id. We're going to go ahead and get our message, which is going to be our message.id. We can go ahead and get our channel, which is going to be our channel.id. We can get our count, which is going to be zero, and we can get our cap, which is going to be cap. After we do that, we're going to go ahead and send a message. So we can do await send message. We're going to go ahead and get a globe emoji, and we can just go ahead and say, I have added this sticky message. Finally, we're going to go in and do await channel.send, and we're going to send our sticky message within the channel you need to send it in. So that's going to be the first sticky message as soon as we set it up. Then we're going to break. We're going to get our case, which is going to be disable. Within this, we're going to do const msg check equals, and we can do options to get string. That's going to be our message string. Then we're going to do data equals await sticky.find1. We're going to get our guild, which is going to be our interaction.guild.id. And we're going to get our message, which is going to be our msg check, just like that. 
then we're gonna do if no data then we're gonna do a wait send message and then this we're just gonna go ahead and get a caution emoji and we can go ahead and say looks like this message is not a sticky message just like that then we're gonna go ahead and say else and we can go ahead and do a wait sticky that deletes one we're gonna get our guilds which is going to be our interaction at guild id we're gonna get our message which is going to be our message check and then we're gonna do a wait send message and we're gonna go ahead and get a globe emoji we can say i have deleted that sticky message just like that so after that we have one more sub command so let's go ahead and break and i'm gonna go ahead and get case which is going to be check within this we're gonna do data equals await sticky dot find we can find our guild which is going to be our interaction at guild id so we're getting all of these sticky messages within the guild we're going to do var string equals, and we can just do an empty string. We can do await data for each, and we're going to go ahead and async our value, and we can open that up with an arrow function. Then we're going to do string plus equals, and we're going to do two backslash ends, and then we can go ahead and get our message after an arrow, and we're going to do backslash tick, and we can go ahead and do value.message. Then we can do a backslash tick, and we can do a backslash n. We can go ahead and get our channel, which is going to be backslash tick value.channel. So we're going to do that. And we can do that again. We're going to do a backslash n. We can do an arrow. We can do cap messages. And we're going to do the exact same thing. We can do value.cap. Uh, and then we can finish that off with a backslash n just like that. So that's going to be the formatted string with all of our information in it when we run our check command. Then we're going to do if and we can do string.length. Uh, equals zero. Then we're going to do string. And we can go ahead and get a globe emoji. And we can say it looks like you don't have any sticky messages just like that so we're going to go ahead and say if the string is empty that means there are no sticky messages so we can set the string to that so that we can edit it into our embed then we're going to do wait send message and we can go ahead and get our sticky messages but first we're going to get our globe so we can go ahead and say your sticky messages and we can bold that and then we can do outside of that so we can do a space and then we're going to do plus string just like that. So with that, we're done with the setup, disable, and check commands. So now let's go ahead and create the file to actually handle the sticky message events. So to do that, we're going to go over to events and we can go ahead and create sticky.js. Then this, we're going to go ahead and just define events. And that's going to be equals to require discord.js. And then we're going to do const sticky equals require. And we're going to go ahead and get our schemas and we're going to get our sticky schema. We can do module at exports. We're going to go ahead and open this up and get our name, which is going to be events.message create. We're going to do async execute. So we can get our message and we're going to open this up here. Uh, within this, we're going to do var data equals await sticky.find. We can get our guild, which is going to be our message.guild.id. We can get our channel, which is going to be our message.channel.id, just like that. Then we're going to do if data.length, and we can go ahead and say is equal to zero. Then we're just going to return, and we can also say if message.author.bot. We're going to go ahead and return as well on that. So after we do that, we're just going to go ahead and write a for each. So we can do await data.for each, and we're going to go ahead and do async value, and we can open this up. So within this for each, we're going to write our logical statements to handle each sticky message. So we're going to do if value.count is equal to our value.cap minus one. And then we're going to open this up and we can do wait message.channel.send. And we're going to send our value.message. So that's going to be the sticky message we have to send after the uh, value.count is equal to our cap. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and set our value.counts equal to zero. And we can do wait value.save just like that then we're going to say else and we can do value.counts and we can do plus plus so we're going to use our plus plus operator and we can save that as well so we can do wait value.save and we can finish that off all right so that is actually going to be it for the entirety of this file for handling one last thing go over to your original sticky.js moderation file and we're going to go over to message where we created it just go ahead and remove the id it's just going to be message uh, we don't need to get the id from that um, and then after you do that we can actually go ahead and save all of the files restart the bot and test this out all right so over in the discord let's go ahead and test this out by getting our check command uh, and when we go ahead and send this here, as you can see, it's going to say it looks like you don't have any sticky messages, but I really messed up the formatting here by including this outside of the string. Uh, if you'd like to fix that, go ahead, but the function still works, so that's all that really matters here. Now let's go ahead and set this up. So I'm going to do setup. Let's just get our sticky message, and we can just go ahead and get maybe an emoji as well to throw in here. Um, now that we have our message, let's get our channel. So I'm just going to do the channel we're in. 
And now let's get the cap. So after this amount of messages, we're gonna resend the sticky message. So I'm just gonna do three. So now as we go ahead and send it, as you can see, it's gonna set it up and it's gonna send that initial sticky message. Um, and now let's go ahead and send our messages. So we have one, we have two, and after two, nothing's gonna happen. Even though three messages were sent, this is because we're ignoring bots. So that's something to keep in mind. And then if we go ahead and send our third, as you can see, we have our sticky message. So that's gonna be sent in the channel there. So now every three messages that are sent here, we're gonna get a brand new sticky message. Um, I guess what you could do is you could actually go ahead and delete the previous one. Now, in order to do that, what you could do is you could save the previous message within the schema and then just delete it every time you update it. Uh, I just thought of that now, so that's not gonna be included in the code, but it works pretty good uh, as is in this current system. Let's go ahead and try two more things. Let's go ahead and set up one more message. So this is gonna be sticky too. Let's go ahead and send it to the exact same channel and let's set the cap to four. So now if we go ahead and send one, two, three, the first sticky message is gonna be sent. And now if we send four, the second sticky message is gonna be sent. So they are two independent sticky messages within the same channel. Both work exactly fine. As you can see here, um, they work perfectly well. Now, last thing that we can go ahead and do, let's go ahead and get our sticky and we can go in and check. And as you can see, we have two sticky messages. Let's go ahead and try to remove the initial one. So let's just go ahead and copy and paste this. And we're gonna go ahead and do sticky disable and we can copy and paste that in. And now if we go ahead and get our check, as you can see here, we only have one. So let's go ahead and send four messages. Um, I guess five or whatever, I think it sent after four. Now we only have one message being sent instead of the two that we had above. So you can make a sticky message system for discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here. We'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.